It was with great difficulty that we selected four winners from among the many insightful and well-researched responses. Congrats to Renata, Nathaniel, Andrew, and Cervanti. What data does the policy community need? We have to ask them, and then we have to go out and produce them in the next few years so that a decade from now, we have a, a picture of what's happening that we've never had before. And uh, I think that's a game changer. The resources are very important. It depends just on where you are sitting in the world. In Africa, is having access to, um, to the data, and I would even add infrastructure is capital. We need international cooperation. That's fundamental. And IPCC recognizes that. We need partnerships in terms of research, in terms of uh, technology transfer, capacity building. If you live in a city, you might not notice anything unless you know exactly where to look. But if you go to a dark sky area, you, you will see uh, tens or even hundreds of moving objects in the sky. You still need landing rights to go into countries. I think that that is a potential strategic negotiating leverage point. We don't use an ambulance for warfare, uh, mostly because you know that if you start to do that, the cost benefits in terms of, of, of your complete exercise makes it uh, illogical, right? It, you, you have more to lose than to win if you if you start using it this way. And that there is no one agency that has the mission nor the funding to do this. And so that's where we're stuck. We're stuck with that when it comes to space traffic management. We're stuck with that when it comes to, to ADR. Is the market that can solve the problem of the space debris or we need uh, the uh, government intervention in order to solve this kind of problems? 